Hey there, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about the different GMB posting capabilities we have built into Local Viking for you guys, and a few of the interesting features that complement those posting capabilities. If we go over a new post, you see we have three options. A single post, which allows us to configure just that, a single post for a GMB. We have multi-location posts, which allow you to create one post and then select any of the GMBs that you manage to make that post to. And then we have the CSV bulk upload, which is very self-explanatory, but let's take a quick look. Your bulk upload basically allows you to fill out a spreadsheet and manage all of your postings from one action, as opposed to configuring each post individually with the other two options. You can download the example spreadsheet here, and it's going to give you the exact spreadsheet you need to fill out and upload in order to process your bulk posts. You're going to keep the title of each column or the headings, if you will. Everything else from row to and there and after gets deleted. It's just there to give you guys an example of what the system's going to need to process the CSV. As you can see, you're going to need your location IDs. And we made it super easy for you guys to access those by clicking the View Remote IDs link. Let's back up and actually walk you through how easy it is to create a post and some of the cool features we have built in. As you can see, you can make any GMB post type from within the dashboard, the standard, event, offer, and product. And all of those are very straightforward. Continuing on, we provide the content in the summary section for the GMB post. And if you have a spun article or an article with spin tax enabled, you can click this button and we will process your spin tax. So you can essentially use one article with spin tax to create many articles. Another really cool feature we built inside of Local Viking for you guys is the daisy chaining feature. So as you're creating your content, you can click the insert previous post URL button and it's going to provide the link to your last GMB post. Something to keep in mind is if you guys have a GMB website activated, all of your GMB posts automatically turn into inner pages on those sites. So it will use your GMB website URL. If you do not have a GMB website active, it's going to use the raw URL from your GMB and that post specifically. Scrolling farther down, we have the options for you guys to schedule a post. I know a lot of you guys like that option and have requested that in the past, so we made sure to build that in, whereas a lot of other tools didn't natively have that option, and Google GM GMB itself doesn't natively have that option. So it's very simple, where you can schedule your post and click Submit. And we also created an option where if you want this post to become a, a recurring post, you can go ahead and do that and select which days or for how many days you would like the post to recur. And it'll basically process the same post however many days you select in a row. And click Submit. And that is all there is to GMB posting with Local Viking. 